players. So Fruffy Dunk won the New Hampshire primary last night and immediately started lying. And then, honey, he was flanked by these taint sniffers eager to bow down and sniff his taint. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey. Let's get into this. So yesterday, the stakes were high for Nikki Haley, honey. And she started off strong, getting the first six votes in the New Hampshire primary. But ultimately, it wasn't enough, honey. And Nikki Haley ended up losing the New Hampshire primary. But nobody should be surprised by it. I mean, we already expected it. However, it is very interesting to see how many votes Nikki Haley did get. And also, the exit polling was very interesting, honey. Front to the motherfucking dump is not doing very well amongst independent voters. So heading into the general election, he better shape up or he's going to be definitely shipping out, which is my hope. Now, President Biden did take a win in New Hampshire, although he wasn't on the ballot due to the DNC deciding not to hold the primary in New Hampshire. According to reports, there were around 20,000 write-in votes, and most of those went to President Biden. Now, as far as Nikki Haley goes, honey, she is going to take Ron DeSantis' slogan, never back down, literally, even though his ass backed down, but I digress. She said that she's not giving up, honey, that it is not over until the fat lady sings. So she is heading to the primary in South Carolina, her home state. Now, Fruffy to the motherfucking dump is acting unbothered by Nikki Haley. He's, of course, attacking her, but he said that she is a non-factor. Now, as far as his speech goes last night, I didn't get to see the whole thing in real time because as soon as he started lying, Rachel Maddow cut his ass off. <laughs> But before they got a chance to cut it, Frumpy to the motherfucking dump claimed that he won the New Hampshire primary. This is his third time winning it. Baby, the lie detector has determined that that is a lie. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now. Three. three. We win it every time. We win the primary. We win the generals. We've won it. And it's a very, very special place to me. It's very important. If you remember in 2016, we came here and we needed that win and we won by 21 points and it was great. Child, he can't stop lying to save his damn life. So look behind him, honey. We got Vivek Wanzerwarmi who wants to be his VP and also Tim Scott, Agent Big Gun. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. This right here, this was so cringy. Y'all take a look at this and I'll see you on the other side. You must really hate her. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh oh. I just love you. No, that's good. that's why he's a great politician. That's why he's a great politician. So this. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Tim Scott might as well get down on his knees and tell Frumpy Dump that he loves him. Look, it is nothing wrong with being a Republican. That's your business. However. It is something wrong when you have this type of support for somebody and you come off looking like a buffoon and a schmuck. It's just ridiculous. Players, but I want to know what y'all think. Did you think Nikki Haley was going to pull these things, this thing out? What do you think about her staying in the game? Do you think that she just needs to drop out or should she keep going? Also, what do you think about Frumpy Duck lying all the time? I mean, he calls people dishonest and then he turns around and lies in the same breath. And this is what the Republicans support. This is who they want to see on their ticket. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mobile reporting for the Black Accurate News.